What's up, everybody? Patrick LaRouge here from Evolve Restorative Therapy. You can find me at livepainfreeprocess.com. I have a pain-free concierge service that helps people live and move pain-free. So everything I do is all about teaching you how to live and move pain-free. Today, we're going to be talking about shoveling. Uh, we're, I'm in the Northeast, so we get some snow. And I did a, lot of, a video a long, long time ago about shoveling. And I want to update that video because things have changed, things have gone, have altered based off of the things that I know as well as what happens with uh, shoveling and my experience with shoveling. So there's three components I want to talk to you about. There's actually three main sections you have to think about when it comes out to shoveling snow. Shoveling snow is, is a pre-thought process that needs to happen, a during process that needs to happen as well as a post process that needs to happen. Today, I'm just going to talk to you about the nitty gritty about it. The what do you do during sn uh, shoveling snow so you don't get hurt. So, three things that you have to worry about. Think about. Number one, you have to think about uh, your feet position because we're always sliding, we're always slipping, we're always so on and so forth. And the common problem that people fall is they slip up in front of them. So they're walking around and they slip and they fall on their back. The reason why that happens is because you don't think mindfully about where you're putting your foot, your foot placement. When you step down on the floor, you want to be stepping on the more of the forefoot as well as your weight load needs to be centered or a little bit uh, further in front of you. So if you do hit something slippery, you will slip out from underneath you and you have your other foot to put yourself down or you have your hands to put yourself down to catch yourself that way or you'll slide left to right. You won't fall where there's nothing less to happen but break your butt, right? That's number one, feet placement. Where is your feet? So when you walk, you don't want to do these short, choppy steps. You want to be mindful, step relatively hard with your weight load so you know where your body is, so you know what's happening, you know what's underneath you. Number two, hand placement. I use a straight, easy going shovel. I like an easy going shovel because I can do uh, a lot of things. I like to move when I shovel. I'm not uh, static when I shovel because I know my body weight load. I know I like to move. I'm, I'm an agile person. So this works better for me now. There's ergonomic shovels. There's all sorts of different ways, but I use a straight shovel because I can move in a lot of different directions with it and it's relatively light. So my body is not picking up the shovel and, and some, right? So you want to think about that when you're using your shovel. So this video is mainly for this. Second part is hand placement. So straight shovel, my hand placement is bottom hand, the hand that's going out in front of you, is at the mid shaft of the shovel, or middle or lower to the shovel, depending on what you're doing. So mid and the other hand is underneath. So top hand, grab on top, other one underneath. Third point is you need to control your core. You need to get down and really com contract. Now in the pre-video, I'm gonna be talking about the concept of your state of mind. I completely make this fun by having music on. I have my headphones on and I'm singing and I'm dancing, I'm having fun. I make this a workout. So everything I do has some oomph to it. So if you ever see me shoveling, you see me jamming, I'm jumping around, I'm throwing snow, I'm having fun. That needs to be a key component. So now, putting all three of those in line, feet placement, hand placement, core, you now need to think, every time you put the shovel down, every time you move, air needs to be sucked out of you, pushed out of you at the, the rate of your contraction of your core. So your belly button comes to your spine and you're spitting something out. Whew. So I was singing to Michael Jackson. I was like, hey! Every time I hit, I hit a high note, snow was going someplace. I was either putting it down to something coming out or coming up with something out. So it kind of looks like this. So as I would put it down, go, I breathe, and then I pick up and go. So as I picked up, I went. So everything goes. Now you can see one of my show snubble techniques is putting it down, throwing it over my shoulder. As I was throwing it over, core contracted. This is the other common mistake. You think people make the mistake is they have to work hard. This is a shovel. It does the job for you. You just have to allow it to do so. So look, you just have to push it and the shovel, depending on where you are, you come right on top of the shovel, then you pick up. 
So as I'm going down, I now drop low, straight down, up, go. Straight down, up, go. Here. So, last point I want to show you is a, a kind of a move that I do, that I do consistently. It's a two-step. So you're just going to go here, you're gonna, like you're dancing. You're going, you're going to put it down, here, pick up, here, get throw. Here, oh, that's grass. Here, go. Now notice I hit grass, so I had to come up lower. I had to drop the shovel down to kick, pick up. Everything is weighted on my body. That's why you have to have your feet underneath you. If you don't, you're going to consistently do this. You're going to bend at the back, and you're going to be jagging at it. But if you drop low, and almost like a curtsy or the figure skater move, right? Let me show you that back here so you can see. Figure skater move. Your weight load is on your opposite leg, and you can get down low. Drop. Go here. Go up. Go. Down. Up. Go. Down. Up. Go. That's it. Have music. Have some fun. That's the name of the game for shoveling for pain-free living. So, on the next bunch of videos, Stay tuned for my pre, the things you have to do to get ready for shoveling, and your post, what you have to do after your shoveling, as you're ending up. That's going to be the name of the game. I'm freezing my butt off. Until the next one, later.